Today, I'm going to show you how to reserve your business name to the TTBiz link website. Once you have applied for your TTBiz link ID, you will now have access to register your business online. The first step in this process is to reserve the name of your business. This is achieved by completing the online application and paying the processing fee of $20. After about one to two working days, you will be informed via email if the name has been approved for use or not. This approval is only valid for 20 days and the next step of business registration must be completed within that allotted time frame. Now let's go through the online application step by step. First, you will go to the website in your browser ttbizlink.gov.tt and go to the login page. Scroll down to the bottom and enter your ttbizlink ID and password to log in. Once you have successfully logged in, you will see a page displaying the services and roles you have registered for in the ttbizlink platform. Click on submit for company registration and it will take you to the main TTBiz link services page where you will see all the services you have subscribed to. From this page, you click on the e-company registration and you will be taken to your dashboard. On the left hand side, there is a menu from which you select to do your name search and reservation. Once you click on one of these, options, a terms and conditions agreement and privacy statement comes up for you to read and agree to. Just for you to get a quick preview, this document is 14 pages long and includes definitions of terms, acceptance of online processing of business registration, eligibility requirements, privacy and protection of your data, the acceptance of digital signatures, intellectual property rights, terms of payments, disclaimers of warranties, limitation liability, and governing law. I suggest to review it and then click on the I agree option. You will then be taken to the online application form. Fill out your name, type of ID, whether your driver's permit, national ID, or passport, your ID number, your residential address, your mailing address if different from your residential address, and phone number. Then you select the category whether business or company. And there's a little I or information button if you need further clarification on the difference between the two. You then enter the type of registration, the nature of the business, and the proposed name. You can search for this proposed name that you're going to use for your business prior to this point. And I recommend that you do this simply by selecting the search option under the name search in the menu on the left. I had skipped this step because I had started this process just before the lockdown in April this year. And when everything changed to appointment only, and then online, I was advised to reapply, which I did. That decision did not work out in my favor, so I recommend that you don't skip this step even if you have a plausible reason not to. So after this step, you must enter the type of request, which is name approval, your payment details, which will most likely be the cashier, unless you have a monetary subscription to the TTBiz link website and the location at which you want to make payments. The contact information should be autofilled and you select you agree to the terms and conditions agreement and privacy statement. Now, if you want a detailed document on this process that I just went through, there is a PDF 
on the application instructions under the how to apply section in the menu on the left after you agree to the terms and services you click submit and you'll be taken to the confirmation page from here you must print your acknowledgement which you will then take with you to the cashier once you have paid you will receive an email as to whether or not your name was approved so two things to note if you are using a tablet or a phone as i am doing you may not be able to download the acknowledgement so just screenshot it and save it as a picture and then you can email that picture to someone who could print the acknowledgement for you also if your proposed name has a similar match they will prompt you before you submit your application that your name may be rejected yeah the signs of rejection were everywhere right so stay tuned for the next installment in this series of business registration and i will see you in the next video